What's happening, you kind folks on the World Wide Web? If you're new here, welcome to the I Paint Creatures YouTube channel. If you've been here before, come on in. You know what's going to happen. Get your creature cushion and start chillaxing in the most comfortable way possible. And today, I'm um, showing you uh, more from my archives up here and a speed paints. And uh, this one uh, did a lot of the inking work and uh, graphite work. And I'm creating a new invented yokai. And if you don't know what yokai is, you can check in some of my old videos back there. But basically, they are Japanese folklore creatures. And uh, I bring them into the contemporary time of the 21st century. And I reinvent them, redefine them, stretch them, and, and uh, make them come from my imaginative state into all my visual storytelling that I'm starting to do. Those of you that come back and watch the videos, uh, pretty soon I'm going to start unveiling a lot of my projects and get you introduced and uh, oriented with all the characters and these yokai creatures that I'm bringing to life. I'm working on a project right now where I've gathered almost 30 voice actors to uh, make uh, all my creatures come alive. And I'm using my favorite... Uh, Pigma art pens and Pigma ink means basically it's permanent ink. Uh, it's waterproof. It's uh, alcohol proof so I can use Copics or alcohol markers on it. And it also is pigmented ink so it's just not dye ink so it has pigment in it so it stays light fast and will last a long time. Longer than I exist. So that's a beautiful thing for doing professional art. But the quote I'd like to talk to you about is by Maxim Lagasse. Lagasse. L-A-G-A-C-E. However that's pronounced. But Maxim says, bring your, hum bring your humanity to the art. Bring your humanity to your art and bring your art to humanity. I stumbled over that a little bit. Bring your humanity to your art and bring your art to humanity. And where that speaks to me a lot is uh, was just having a dialogue with a partner in the new film company that I started called Superhero Films. And uh, she is a fantastic actress and uh, just an amazing human being. I'm getting to know her. And uh, she has so much beauty inside and outside of herself. And uh, she's made of feelings. And I was talking to her about getting the film we're working on going. And, and basically got her to uh, just jump in and start to play. You already know what you're doing. And, and uh, kind of get the, the logical explanation and rationalizations out of your mind. And just start creating. And part of that is bringing your humanity. Part of your humanity is uh, the beautiful flaws and the beautiful kinks and the beautiful uh, unprocessed emotions and unclarity that become clear when you start to be creative. And uh, for those of you that visit my videos, yeah, I'm an artist. I'm a multidisciplinary artist. I love creating music and, and visual art. And I love poetry and performing poetry. And I love theater. And I love making films and telling stories. And so, yeah, a lot of it is always oriented around my creativity and, and, and my output. But I also apply that because of the poetry, metaphorically, you know, to my life all the time. And so it's not necessarily you have to be a working artist in the known traditions. I think you can be an artist in your life and treat life like art because, you know, they're very... Uh, you know, interchangeable art versus uh, the mystery of your life and how you're living your life out. So I think bringing your humanity to art is just pouring yourself into it no matter what state you're in and no matter what state that you still are working on yourself because we all need to work on self-appreciation and self-concept and self-love. And I think a lot of that comes out in the art. So I think what Maxime is saying to me is give it your all. Put it in there, you know. 
Put the flaws in there, put your magic in there, put everything you got, put your gut in there, put the way your heart feels, you know, put your sorrow, your pain, your joy, your excitement, Put try to put everything into it and, you know, then your art will bring it back to your humanity because it will express to other people a lot of emotions and journeys they need for opening themselves up and seeing them outside of their, you know quote-unquote human cage bring back the humanity and that's why the arts are all called the humanities because on a simple level you know my degree and stuff I studied with an amazing lady called Dr. Dorothy Wilson and she saw how all the arts tune us right so doing visual art if you're good or you're bad as long as you're playing around the lines and shapes and putting them down the way you are you know, all the way to singing and dancing with music that, that tunes your physical part. Visual art and poetry tunes your mindset, you know, gets your imagination and trust in it. And uh, the last art is, you know, making music or m- moving around and dancing for your physical and music for your emotions. So give all that humanity to your art. And your art will give it back to humanity. Thanks for watching the video today. And I'll see you real soon.